Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniard. It is modded in 135 scale and it copies the Cabriolet B, so it's a German car type 170V, but I guess it's not difficult to guess the manufacturer of this car by the um, logos or the pages on the wheels and also on the bonnet. It's a Mercedes of course and in 135 scale it might be a handy addition to an interesting diorama, maybe with some figures, maybe with some additional car, it will be up to you. But this release is already available, you can get it on official Modelimax website and here we actually have the commercial sample. So it means you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. So first of all box size here is typical for those car kits from Miniart, here you can see comparison with my hand. Box art is quite nice in my opinion. And note that two figures are included, so those guys which we see on the box art, they will be actually in the package. We also have some safety information on the side and barcode and address of the manufacturer. And then six marking options here. And note that these marking options are depicted with open or closed roof, which is really cool because uh, we have at least one assembly option here and also some of them are depicted with luggage, so I can guess it will be also treated as an assembly option. That's a top opening box. And here is what we have inside. So as you can see all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and on the bottom we have assembly manual, but obviously we will start with main plastic bag, so just give me a second. Okay. As usual for Miniar, the plastic bag is sealed, so I'm going to cut through and then we will check the contents. In the meantime, let me remind you that we are a non-profit channel, so if you would like to help us to develop quality of our video reviews or maybe to get some specific kit to review, you can press the donate button on our website and choose the amount you would like to send us via PayPal, so it is quite safe and fast and all this money will be used in order to improve overall quality of the reviews. So here we have another plastic bag. And again it is sealed, so I'm going to use scissors and again we will open this plastic bag and check closer this clear sprue. So let's zoom in, now we should be able to see it. So clear parts look quite fine, I do not see any possible issue here. And they should be easy to install on the vehicle, but the thing is that we do not have any masks here, even mask templates are not included, so you have to cut them with your own hands. And I can't even think of any aftermarket producer who makes actually masks for this car. Next we go on with decals, these are printed in decograph, and as you can see printing quality is really nice, we have number plates here, and I think it will be easy to apply them. And as you remember, we have six marking options included here. As you remember, there was a quite unusual box, here it is. So this box will be used for the um, car body, let's say. So let's open it. And that's a really clever addition, because otherwise this tender part would arrive damaged and broken. As you can see, we have thin frame here. So that's why Miniar decided to pack it separately, in order to preserve the structure and basically it is ready to be assembled, so the only thing you have to do is to remove it out of the box. And we don't have anything else in the box, okay? Next we have another cardboard with Miniart logo, this one is dedicated to P parts. Again, this P thread is not painted, it is finished in the gold color, and we have both external and internal elements. So your vehicle will be a bit more realistic with help of these tiny P bits. Okay. Next we have first grey plastic sprue. This one is interesting because here we get the roof parts, so you get the folded roof and you get the retracted roof. And also a special Wii, actually windscreen frame which is molded separately as you can see here. Maybe it will be 
Um, this is the answer to the masking problems because you have the frame separately so you can paint it and then combine it together with clear part. But those uh, roof parts they look really good. I can zoom in a bit. So as you can see they quite nicely copy the I would say the texture and also those bands of the fabric surface which is really cool here inside we don't have anything extra even though this part is detailed from both sides as you can see okay let's move on to the next sprue next we have pair of identical frames so here you can see them we are going to check only one so here we have the parts for the seats as you remember, we had the same on the other sprue, so those parts will be used for the front seats. We also have some interior bits, and each wheel should be glued out of those circles. It is obviously better than vinyl tires, so there is nothing to complain about, and I think it will be easier to paint, it will be easier to weathering. The only thing which will be required from you is to carefully combine all those circles together and maybe sand a bit in order to get a smooth connection between them. Next we go on with sprue which is dedicated to various minor elements. So here you will find interior parts as well as for example here we have the uh, cage for the um, luggage. Here we have engine parts, drivetrain, also fuel tank is here etc etc. Some parts are really small here you can see comparison with my fingertip. We can zoom in so that you can see it closer here. And that's why you have to use sharp tweezers because otherwise you easily lose them and it will be funny to search for them around your workroom. Next we have separate door cards. And that's actually an interesting thing because as you remember previous model had molded in doors but here we have them separate. So you will be able to open the doors on this kit unlike in the previous saloon releases and that's really handy actually if I'm not wrong previous releases also had the openable doors at least the cabrio saloon which we reviewed previously you can find a review on our YouTube channel next we go on with another sprue for the door cards from another side you'll find some guiding elements Next we have sprue for the spare wheel here, nothing extra I would say. And figure parts, they're provided like this. Why I'm a bit confused because as you can see one part arrived slightly bent. Nothing serious, it's not a damage, it's just because of the tight packaging and also because we have such long rods here. But the parts division is typical for 135 scale, so I guess you won't find anything surprising here. Next we go on with another figurine. As you remember there was also a gentleman. Here it is. Again separate torso, separate head, separate hands, legs. And there are no guiding elements inside whatsoever. And Last but not the least is this grey plastic sprue. So I would say this one is universal for all type 170 Wii kits. As you can see here we have the bottom floor, we have the instrument panel here, we have separate bonnet panels. And what else? Main frame which is molded as one piece parts, rear seat which should be glued out of those two pieces, steering wheel and some wheel axles, bumpers and that's pretty much all. But molding quality looks really good, I don't see any flash or other possible molding damage so I think it will be easy to work with these parts and to get a decent result with this kit. Next we continue with assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of typical mini art brochure so we zoom out a bit. Let's close the lenses so it won't be that bright. So here we have short list of the features, parts count is not printed here anymore. Next we continue with three marking options here. It's even written that for example this car comes from Belgium, this car comes from France and this one is from Berlin. All three around 1940s. Next we go on with parts map. 
Assembly process starts with engine, then we install engine on the mainframe. We continue with wheel axles, suspension, and here we install the exhaust. Next, whole exhaust system is attached to the engine. Engine, actually mainframe is combined together with this floor panel. Then we install the front wall, fuel tank here, seats, various interior elements. Then those door cards for the rear seats. Next we continue with wheels, dashboard, radiator here, which should be glued out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. And this is a P grill, so be, re be ready to bend it a bit because on the original car it was angled. Here we install wheels on the axles, we install the um, front glass, and for the front glass you can see that we have separate frame so basically you can paint it as a separate part and then combine with clear part which is actually uh, solving the masking problems on this vehicle here we assemble the steering wheel again you'll have to combine it with PE part some bonnet panels and you can open it in order to expose the engine obviously and here we have various steps for the open or closed version. Next we continue with front doors, roof, as you remember you have to choose between open or closed roof, the luggage storage, paints chart, paints, um, actually marking guide for the figures, and here we have three more marking options. This one comes from Germany, Germany, and even Ukraine here in 1948. Surprising. Okay, so as I said before, this kit is already available. You can get it on official Modelimax website. I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye.